Howdy howdy, welcome to this review of the Sensor 2.1 surround sound PC speakers. In this video I'm going to go over the unboxing experience, the sound quality, and the build design of these speakers. Let's start off with the unboxing. It seemed a little bit damaged on the corners, but thankfully that didn't end up actually affecting the product in any way. As far as the speakers themselves, the subwoofer and the two individual speakers both came in these plastic bags. And if you've ever unboxed a speaker, you know how fun these things are to take off. However, once I got the bags taken off the speakers, I finally got to put these things to the test. These speakers certainly look cool and they complement my personal setup, but how do they sound? Here we are, got our speakers laid out. One thing I noticed right off the bat is these speakers, the little LED lights on top of them, they're for show, they don't actually do anything. And that's because thankfully I found out in the unboxing section that these tiny speakers don't have to plug into a port on your computer they just plug into the back of the subwoofer and then from the subwoofer, the USB and the 3.5 millimeter both come out of the subwoofer. A couple quick little right before we do a sound test things I noticed. Uh, the scroll wheel, I, I know it's a dumb thing to analyze, but I really like this scroll wheel. Now that it's plugged in, originally, uh, about two or three minutes ago, it was making this horrible, horrible static. When the USB was plugged in, but the 3.5 millimeter wasn't, uh, it didn't sound very good. It was very, uh, it basically sounded like TV static, but basically that's the static I was talking about. It doesn't do that anymore. You can turn it up, turn it down. You can do whatever with it. Uh, as far as build quality goes, honestly, the build quality is pretty good. Like, yeah, it's plastic, but then again, look at the price tag. It's not going to be made out of aluminum, but it's, it's not low quality plastic. Like I feel like I could throw this against a wall and it would probably be fine. I wouldn't recommend you throw your speakers against a wall, but without further ado, mm, let's just give it a little, a, a little listen. Okay, so one thing immediately jumps out to me when I sound test these bad boys is I'm trying to think of how to word this. Hold on, I need to I need to play it again. Yeah, I was gonna say the side speakers have no bass whatsoever, which is perfectly fine, right? Like that's what the subwoofer's for is to have bass. How Ever. I did just want to point that out quickly. The side speakers, absolutely no bass at all. But while we're on the topic of bass, let's talk about bass because bass is something I care about very, very deeply. This subwoofer does a really, really good job of executing bass. I know some people, personally, I, I am fine with having a third speaker, a subwoofer, just for bass as long as the bass is going to be great. This feels worth the the space like if you're debating getting these because oh I don't want to have a third speaker for bass like yeah you know you could get some speakers but I imagine that you'd also pay a whole lot more to have integrated bass into other speakers so this in my personal opinion is worth the space I'm not gonna lie I was really really worried about that when I got these you saw the box the box was not small I was worried that this speaker in particular wouldn't be worth it However, I can proudly say that this is really, really good. As far as bass goes, it's not perfect bass. Like, it's not, you know, that true rumble. It does rumble, but it's not like an insane amount of rumble. However, in order to achieve an insane amount of rumble, you do have to sacrifice sound quality. That's something I learned the other day, which I really surprised me because a friend had this speaker that was specifically designed for bass. I listened to it and I was like, that doesn't sound very good. And he said, yeah, they did that for bass purposes, you ding it. So as far as sound quality goes, I'd give them a solid eight out of 10 in terms of sound quality, especially for the price, like the speakers overall. This video is sponsored, so they sent me these speakers specifically to try out. I've never tried anything in the $50 range. Maybe there's a massive, massive leap in quality. In terms of overall sound quality, this is really, really impressive like and I do truly mean that that's not I specifically make sure when I land sponsors that they know I'm not biased about this product I'm gonna roast it if there's things roasted about it which one thing I do want to roast I don't know what the heck 
this cable is. It's just a random cable coming out the back. I'm pretty sure it's for cable management, but it does not have to be there. Please get rid of it. I don't know if cutting that will permanently ruin these. I wouldn't advise cutting that. But all in all, I'm very, very pleased with these things. The bass is really good, especially for the price, and the overall sound profile is very, very nice. I am going to knock them a point because these LEDs are just they, they do nothing. They might as well not be there. You might as well reduce the size of the speaker to not include the LEDs. Also, I'm going to knock it one more point because they are big. I know that's something I previously mentioned a minute or two ago, but just that's what you have to fit around your setup, which in order for speakers to be good quality, you know, some speakers have to be big. I'm personally a smaller speaker kind of guy. The smaller, the more you can condense the speakers, the better, in my personal opinion. Also, I guess in the size vein, that's not very much space between these two speakers. You kind of have to set them close together and you'll probably have to set them kind of apart like that. But I'd overall give these speakers an 8 out of 10 because to be perfectly honest, they're really, really good, especially for the price. That's what I can't get over is if you just gave me these speakers, didn't give me a price tag for them, I'd say I guess the 50 to to $100 range most likely and I'd probably lock in my guess at $63.42. However, the fact that these are less than $30 is really, really impressive. I'm very, very pleased with these. I will integrate these into my setup. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video, this tech review. Thank you so much for watching. Have another tech review over here. Subscribe button right over my face, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.